Okay, welcome back to part two of this uh, history of my video game experiences, or whatever you want to call it. Today we are going to be going over my handheld history. I've got all my stuff sitting on the floor, and I think we'll go in a Wii too. Because I had a Wii, and what respectable family didn't have a Wii? I'm sorry, that was mean. <laughs> um, so let's just, let's just jump into it. So around... Let's say 2008, 2009, maybe even earlier than that, I got this, which is probably very glary right now, but it is a uh, red DS light, and this is not the original one I had, this is just a DS, a red DS I have laying around, it's actually broken, it doesn't work, I've got a whole stack of DS lights that don't work, but this was my gaming for a little while. I stopped playing PlayStation 2, well, except for Grand Theft Auto, and I was, I went handheld, I went portable. And this is one of the few, this is the only DS game I have left that is my original DS game that I got. Because when I traded all my stuff in, which I'll go into in the next part, to get a certain console, they didn't have it stock, if you can guess what it is. I traded all of my games in, but this is one, one of the very few, that I absolutely refuse to trade in. And that is the very first Mario game I ever played, which might come as a surprise. It is Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Now, why did I get this one? Because new Super Mario Brothers was out of stock. No, I gotta turn Flash off. It's killing my eyes. Give me... No, I can't turn it off now. I've already started the recording. I'll have to make a cut then. You know what? Don't even worry about it, Ash. Just keep killing your eyes. Okay. Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. This is... This is a game. And it is really, really good. This is one of my favorite Mario games of all time. Probably my favorite Mario game on a handheld just because... Okay. Oh, wow. Just looking down up from the flash. I decided to turn the flash on because it'd be better lighting, and now it's killing my eyes. Ooh. Okay, I'll deal with it. Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is a fantastic game. And I didn't think I I mean I didn't know what to expect because it was well, it was not New Super Mario Brothers. New Super Mario Brothers was out of stock at GameStop. That left me with this. Um, I think this is the only Mario game that they had in stock because everyone was buying the Mario Kart DS's and the new Super Mario Brothers. It didn't even have Mario 64 DS, which I got later, by the way. Go on to that in a minute. But this is basically, it's an RPG. It's a turn-based RPG that is... It's beautiful. They just remade it on the 3DS, and I got it on the 3DS. I'll go into that later. I had to get it on the 3DS. I just had to. I mean, it's, I have such a history with this game. So, following this, I got... I don't have it anymore, because remember I said I traded in. I got New Super Mario Brothers. And later I got Mario Kart DS. I don't even own these games anymore to show you. So... I didn't, I didn't even rebuy them yet, to be honest. Um, but yeah, New Super, New Super Mario Brothers and Mario Kart DS. They were good games. Mario Kart DS especially. I remember having so much fun with my friends on Mario Kart DS. Friend, I should say. <laughs> um, it, was just, it was just a jolly good time. And New Super Mario Brothers, I also had a good time playing with friend. With friend because not many people were into... Nintendo at the time. I forgot to mention, Nintendo DS was my first experience with Nintendo. I had never had a Nintendo console before. I didn't even know what Nintendo was. A lot of that I know. Nintendo will become one of my favorite things of all time. Like, Nintendo, when the new Nintendo Direct comes out, I'm on that. The new Nintendo game comes out that I want, I'm, on, I'm pretty ordering it. Those are, and Nintendo was, has been just such a staple in my life, which is kind of funny because I didn't actually start with Nintendo. I started with a competitor. I started with PlayStation. 
So it's yeah, it's kind of funny, but it's kind of funny how things work out. But now I heavily prefer playing the GameCube over to PlayStation Two, and I'll show you why. So I well, let's keep on handhelds for a bit, and I got the original 3DS, which I don't have anymore, but I do have a box for it. Hold on. Oof. That's no good. This is my original 3DS box. I don't have the game the system anymore because unfortunately, not unfortunately actually, I gave it to my friend who needed a 3DS because I had I had, I got the new 3DS XL. Before that, I was using this thing. Uh, this is the original 3DS. One of the original. I, uh, I can't remember. Is this an original color? No, black and blue were the original colors. I think they came out in red later, but anyways. I had this. And that's how I played some really good games. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a pretty big Zelda fan. Um, I'll go on that in a minute. But, um, I played Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I played, I don't like to say this, but I I beat Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. They were the two the two Zelda DS games that well, both of them were lacking, <laughs> but I beat both of them. I had to, and I don't I don't like admitting this, but I may or may not one hundred percent complete Spirit Tracks. <laughs> Got the golden train and everything. Oh God, that's so many hours to put into that game, but I played those games. And they were amazing. They were amazing at the time. Looking back on it, they were kind of crappy, but that's besides the point. Uh, that's my opinion, not yours. Um, yeah, I mean, the three years just introduced me to so many good things. And introduced me to the Animal Crossing series, because I got New Leaf when it, a few weeks after it came out. It just introduced me to so much stuff. It was amazing. And I eventually got the new 3DS XL upgraded. Actually, I got the box of it. I'm not going to give it. But I upgraded, and, you know, I'll go get the box, just so you can see. And I'll also get something else for a minute. I got it. The new 3DS XL. And this, well, luckily I already had a 3DS charger, because it does not come with a charger. Which, I don't know why. I guess it saved money. I guess they assumed everyone already had a 3DS, but, you know, come on, Nintendo. Um, got that. And that's how... Oh, I forgot to mention. On my original 3DS, when I was introducing... When I was telling you that it introduced me to so many new series, it introduced me to Pokemon. I love Pokemon. That was a fantastic game. Before that, I was like, Pokemon's for nerds. And I was, I was part of that bandwagon saying, oh, Pokemon's for nerds. And then finally, everyone that had a 3DS was like, dude, you've gotta try X and Y. And I'm like, oh, Pokemon's for nerds. It's like, no, no, Ash, you don't understand. You have to try it. And I'm like, oh, fine. So I went to Walmart. I got it at Walmart. Didn't go to GameStop for this one. I went to Walmart, walked in, saw Pokemon Y. Uh, I didn't want Pokemon X because they... Xerneas looks stupid. So I'm like, that one looks cooler. So I got Pokemon Y and I popped it in and I was instantly love, in love. It was, uh, it was such a beautiful game. And that inspired me to play different Pokemon games. Like, I'm like, this series is amazing. I love it. So I, I immediately got like black and white, black 2, white 2, uh, diamond pearl. I got all those. Actually, I didn't own those yet. I didn't get those so much later, but... And then, eventually, Sun and Moon came out. And I started watching... Let me just make this recording. Yeah, we're still recording. I got Sun and Moon, and I realized... I'm pretty good at this. That's... So... And I, and I always... And I was always watching, like, the World Championships and stuff, and I'm like, you know, let's try my hand in the tournament. Turns out I wasn't so good. <laughs> um... No, the first tournament I went to, I sweeped because they were all kids. But as soon as I went to an official tournament, 
I got crushed. But it was a lot of fun. It was amazing. And I actually go into an official tournament to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm just looking back on it now and just thinking how amazing it was. Wow. It was a great time. Um, you know, looking back on all on my history of games, it's just reminding me how much fun it used to be. Well, it still is, but it just reminds me of how much fun it was experiencing games for the very first time. Moving away from handhelds. Um, that was pretty much my, well, other than one, I'll go into that later. You can probably guess which one I'm talking about. Um, the 3DS, and the, D the DS, the 3DS line, it, it, it shaped who I am. And without the DS Lite, I wouldn't be a Nintendo fan. I'd probably just have PlayStation. Um, the, the DS and 3DS line really shaped who I am, and without that, I don't know where I would be. So, stepping away from handhelds, it was, I can't remember what year it was, uh, it was like 2010, 2011, and my mom had one last giant present under the tree, and she said, everyone, I want you all to open this, it's for everyone. We still had a PlayStation 2 at the time. We opened it, and you're not going to believe what was in it. The Nintendo Wii. And we played this. And this, is, this is my original one, which is amazing. That, this is the one. I tried trading in the GameStop, but they wouldn't take it. I don't blame them. These things are kind of obsolete now. No. But this just was... I'm really happy they didn't take it, because if they took it, I don't know what I would do. This is my original one. You can tell because it's all scuffed up. It's missing the doors up top. Go in that. that. But we played, I played so many good games. And the family played so many good games. Wii Sports Bowling. I rem One of my fondest memories, which, looking, which, you know, looking back on it was really funny. But at the time it wasn't funny. We were doing bowling in Wii Sports. And uh, my dad, well, my stepdad, went in for a, in for a bowl, and I was just crossing behind him because I was trying to get. I was trying to. I couldn't see the TV very well, so I tried to get behind him. Went in for the bowl, cracked me right in the head. I cried so much. But those are good memories to look back on. It hurt, but it was funny. It's funny now. It wasn't funny then. I wonder if there's anything in this. I was probably gonna find out. Anyways. I got the Nintendo Wii. I don't actually have any of my original Wii games. I've got one, but it's Michael Jackson, the experience. It's not really even worth showing you. Um, that was a good game for the time. I don't like it. Man. It, it was just, just it was just dance, except my, it was all Michael Jackson. It was an okay game for the time. But then I discovered my favorite console of all time. Now then it wasn't. Um, it was the GameCube. And I had never been introduced to the GameCube when it came out because, well, we had a PlayStation 2. We were on the bandwagon. Everyone had a PlayStation 2. But, <sighs> the GameCube was a beautiful console. And I was unfortunate to not be able to own one. I eventually got one. But, I played it, I realized, wait a minute, what's this, GameCube, backwards compatible GameCube, I don't even know what that means. So, I looked it up, and I found a playthrough of Super Mario Sunshine, and I loved it. It was the most, be it was probably the most beautiful, this is my favorite Mario game of all time. And, for good reason, it's a great game, it But they, this game, was beautiful. It was beautiful, it really was. I love it. Just looking back on those memories, getting this, 
My dad got this for me. When GameStop still sold GameCube games, I saw this, and I'm like, Dad, you gotta get me this. He's like, okay. <laughs> I think it was like $15 at GameStop then. It was somewhere around that price. $15. This is worth like over 30 now. But, so many good memories with this. Wow. It's a good deal. Um, but then, this was only making me even more, more, it made the game keep more desirable for me. And I said, what other games are on here? Before I received that game, I had no idea what The Legend of Zelda was. I think a friend was telling me about it at school. And I'm like, what's that? Turns out, it's, it's one of my favorite, now it's one of my favorite series of all time, but then I had no idea what it was. So I was on the Wii Shop channel. Rest in peace. <laughs> um... I was on the Wii Shop channel, and I was looking, and I saw The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on Virtual Console. And I'm like, you know, my friend was telling me about this, I, I might, I should go play it. And I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to play the Virtual Console games, I thought you just use a Wii remote. I didn't realize, you gotta use the GameCube ports for that. It was a Nintendo 64 game, so I figured I had to... Get a Nintendo 64 controller. Turns out it was just GameCube. Okay. I got that. And I loved it. And I didn't beat it until way after I had it. So. I got it. And. I didn't beat it. Because it was, it was a little. I got stuck on the forest dungeon. Uh, not the first one. The, the forest temple. After you pull up the Master Sword. It's the first sage you have to rescue. I'm not going to spoil anything on it anymore. But after you pull up the Master Sword, you got to go to the Forest Temple to save your first sage. Well, <laughs> I did. I got I got stuck on that but dungeon. I can't do this. I can't do it anymore. So, what do I do? I stopped playing it. And then eventually I went back and beat it. I actually broke it. Broke a controller over Ocarina of Time, one of my GameCube controllers, because I was playing the Virtual Console, and I'm like, ah! I threw it on the floor and it broke. <laughs> Um, so, I finally beat that. I had got Majora's Mask on a virtual console. I still never beat Majora's Mask to this day. Oh, it's one of my biggest regrets. It, it, it really is. I never beat Majora. I beat the DS. I beat Phantom Hourglass, and I 100% completed Spear Tracks, but <laughs> I still never beat Majora's Mask, believe it or not. But, I'm like, I need... More Zelda games. Because Majora's Mask is way too hard. I never, I still, yeah, like I said, I never beat that yet. I beat Ocarina of Time, and I'm like, I need more Zelda games. So what do I do? I asked my mom for another playthrough I was watching. But I never finished a playthrough, because I wanted a um, walkthrough on YouTube. I, I liked watching YouTube then. Um, and I still do, actually. <laughs> Don't know what I said then. But... There was a game there on YouTube. It's by the same guy, actually. And he was playing this game. And I'm like, this is the most beautiful game I've ever seen. And actually, this is my favorite game of all time. This is... I got this for Easter. I, this is back when I received Easter presents. I don't, have, I don't get Easter presents anymore. But I begged my mom to get this for me for Easter night ran to my Wii and I put that in and I started playing it. This is, can you guess what it is? It's The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This is a Zelda game. It received a little criticism, it at least received a little criticism at announcement when it was announced because it was, because of the cartoon art style. The Toon Link, as even Nintendo has dubbed them, Toon Link Everyone was like, what is this? What is this baby garbage? I want, st I want stuff like Ocarina of Time, not this. Because they were, they were used to, like, they just were hot off Majora's Mask, and they're like, what's this? I don't want this. Now it's one of the most beloved Zelda games ever. Just because of the art style. 
the art style was the reason everyone hated it at launch. And then people started playing. I was like, the art style is great. In fact, they, they, re, they remade it. They did our HD remake on Wii U. And everyone bought that. If they had a Wii U rip. Um, but yeah, this game, my favorite game of all time. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Uh, now, this game, let me check to see if we're still recording. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a long one. Okay. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Amazing game. Um, I don't even want to explain it. It's just, you have to play it. If you can't get a hold of this one, the GameCube version. You can just get the Wii U version. The Wii U version is cheap now. You've got a Wii U. They're not. They're probably not going to remake it on the Switch. They're not going because they just remade it on the Wii U. They better remake Sunshine on Wii on Switch before they remake this on Switch. All right, they better. Um, one more I have to show you, um, and then we're gonna and we'll move on to move on to part three. Yeah, that's only a three-part thing. Pokemon Coliseum. I didn't know how I felt about this game when I first saw it. I basically made it through one episode on a, on the walkthrough. And I'm like, ew. But I'm like, you know, I gotta try it. So I got it for my birthday, actually. Um, and I loved it. It was... This is an amazing game. It's nothing like po the main the main series Pokemon. Nothing like it at all. But it's it's such a beautiful game. And they made a sequel. I have the sequel over on my shelf. Which the sequel is actually more sought after than this one. And it's Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I'm not going to show that because it's actually... I didn't get that until much later. I got this... Uh, I want to say my birthday in 2015... When we saw the Wii. My birthday in 2015. And. I actually. Didn't get XD until. I think it was early last year. So I didn't get XD until much later. I didn't even know they made the sequel until much later. And they finally. I finally realized. I'm like I gotta get that sequel. This is a good game. Um. And that's pretty much it for this part. I just wanted to go over my handhelds and my Wii. I think in the next part we'll go over current gen and then how I got into collecting games. Because, I don't know if you noticed, but I collect games. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you for 500 subscribers. I won't make a scene about it this time because I did that in the first part. But thank you all again, and uh, see you in the next part. Bye.